Now let's go to Amendment 4 that will appear on the ballot, which is the so-called Hometown Democracy Amendment. Uh, let, let's let you define it. We'll define it uh, on, in graphics, but how do you understand the impact of Amendment 4? Well, as we spoke about earlier, three parts of our economic model. It is growth, it is tourism, it is agriculture. In my opinion, this so-called hometown democracy will cripple potential growth, meaning that if we're, we're going to be a successful state, there's growth elements to it, and more importantly to our Constitution, property rights. We are a republic. We're not a pure democracy. You can't vote away someone's rights. In my opinion, this so-called hometown democracy is voting away people's property rights that undermines our Florida Constitution, let alone our United States Constitution. I do not support it. In the places that's been attempted, it's been an utter failure. The more people find out about it, they love the title. And when they actually understand the policy, they want to move away from it. I think this would be a crushing blow to an economy already suffering. It's the reason I'm a opposition to Amendment 4. And I'm hopeful that the po opinion polls are showing now as the support is eroding, it will continue to erode so that in November we do not further cripple an already devastated economy with Amendment 4. I understand that uh, Amendment 4 will require that every single time a local growth management plan uh, is changed in almost any respect, there would have to be a, a, an election held on it, a referendum by the local community rather than a vote of the commission. Is that essentially what it does? I, I concur. Again, I, I think it undercuts property rights. And, and when you lose your ability to protect your private property, you move away from what capitalism, what our republic is all about. I think your explanation is correct. And again, think of all the people who are unemployed right now who would be further unemployed because when you have a delay in some projects you want to get done, that means that time and costs go up and we all pay more. and means more people are out of work for a longer period of time. We can't afford a bad idea like this.